The director I'm going to tell you a little bit about is Billy Wilder. I'm going to tell you about his past, how he came about, and a little bit about his movies and the way that he creates them. Billy Wilder was born June 22, 1906 in Sucha, Hungary. In 1929, he had his first break. He created his first film, and it was a German film, called Menschen am Sonntag. The English translation, translation would be People on Sunday. In 1938, he partnered with Charles Brackett, and they worked together for 12 years, creating four box office hits. In the 1950s, he began producing films alone. However, in 1957, he again collaborated, but this time with IAL Diamond, and they worked together for over 20 years. In Billy Wilder's films, he creates personas of shallowness of modern life, and some are comedies. Um, an example of a shallow, a shallow movie would be Double in Amenity. It's about a man who marries a woman, and he marries her strictly for her looks, but not only that, he also has very little to no respect for her. He places his daughter's well-being above his wife's and puts his daughter's name in the will, so that way when he dies, his wife receives nothing. Um, and... Example of like a quote about shallowness would be from Billy Wilder himself would be people will do anything for money except some people they will do almost anything then going into his comedies he talks a lot about his jokes are a lot about alcohol and prostitution so I decided to incorporate a joke about alcohol the joke would be what do you get when you mix English class with alcohol tequila mockingbird thought it was a pretty funny one an example, oh, from, from the 1930s to the 1960s, Billy Wilder dominated Hollywood's golden age. He created over 50 films, won six Academy Awards, and was one of Hollywood's all-time greatest directors, producers, and screenwriters. His films are mostly stark melodrama, antic farce, and satiric comedy. An example of directional style that he uses would be um, he in his narrative. Some of his characters are very comical and some are very shallow. He focuses a lot of his work in the narrative because he was originally a writer and so that's where he believes most of the film should come from. Another example of his directional style would be through his cinematography. He uses an obtrusive style of shooting and singular vision which is an elegant dramatic dramatization of characters through action, distinctive dialogue, and sour slash sweet or even misanthropic view of humanity. Um, since he did, he was a writer, a lot of his films, like I said, are based around the writing and the narrative, the narration. I got this particular, um, sort or information from the Paris Review, and it's an interviews article, and I got it at theparisreviews.org.